Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of what? As you can tell, this time I have a nice set of tools in front of me. Minus what you just saw there. What I am doing is making some earrings. I've already selected the beads that I need. This is going to be... Ooh, it's a triple set. Hmm. That means I need more components. I'll grab said components. Now, earring making isn't too overly difficult. It's it's all like everything else is all about finesse. First of all, what I like to do is I like to plan because I'm a class A personality. Plan what I'm doing. Now. Do I want to make a triple set, or do I want to make a double set? Hmm. That kind of orange. That kind of white. Those little guys don't match that, so we're going to take those out for the moment. I'm going to go back to making a double set. Sometimes that happens in the creative process. Now I have to select the beads I'm going to be using. Let me get the rest of my tools out. Okay, now it comes a fun part. I'm going to use a smaller set of beads, which, as you can tell in my set, are right here. I've got small beads there, big beads there, and let's see here. That's white and orange. I like doing contrast a lot, so let's do a yellow. Oh, there's a yellow. It's kind of a sickly looking yellow, isn't it though? It's more like a green yellow. How about that orange? Orange looks bright. Yeah, that'll work. It's a good contrast. Now, it's a good thing I have fairly steady hands. Not the most steadiest in the universe, mind you. But that's alright. All right, and now for the other ones, what do I want? Let's do red. Orange and red. So I guess you could call this, I don't know, fire and ice? I like fire. Your red fire, your orange fire, your white fire. It's fire. Oh, I lost that bead. Uh, where's my red? There's one. Heard. All right. Have all my components now. I don't need that open. Now comes the fun part: making the actual earring itself. Take my end pieces right here. Grab me a little bead. I want to make this my bottom. That'll work. And then. I'm going to grab the upper part. Actually, let's change it around. Yeah, let's do that. Because I don't want that red mixing in too well. we got to make a contrast a little bit better. Being creative in this kind of thing definitely helps. Oops. <laughs> let's try that again. Uh, apparently my coordination sucks right now. All right. You see, is it, I'd rather grab this with a pin than my own finger. For me, it's a little easier. There we go. Nice bright red. I like that. And then we'll use the eye. Have to grab that nice bright glass red bead. There we go. How's that look? Hmm. Simple, yet bright. Um, grab my hooks while I'm at it. Alright, let's go ahead and thread my other ones while I'm at it. And pardon my camera view. I don't have a cameraman for this, so... Just have to rely on what I'm doing. That, and I'm not used to playing to the camera very often. Especially live. Alright. Alright. 
So then, we've pre-planned. You can tell the basic shape and design, and I just did that backwards. Wow. How did I do that? <laughs> Way to go, Lewis. All right, let's try this in English. <laughs> I didn't realize I did that, that's funny. Oh, pay attention. Normally you see me do video games and whatnot. That's okay. <laughs> I say it a lot. That's okay. That's okay. Right, now comes the shaping. This I am still trying to get down to an expert level. But what it comes down to is this. You find where you want to shape it. I always give myself a little extra room. And then, being on these little pliers, I like to give myself a little leeway in terms of how big do I want the loop. Make sure I'm still recording. And then, I bring it over and, of course, under. Being careful not to hit my glass beads. Most of my beads are ceramic or glass. Once I got a nice shape like that, then I'll go ahead and trim. Sometimes figuring out a spot where you want to trim at is a little bit difficult. Hmm. Now let's bend it over just a little bit. There we go. Ah, now I got a good spot to trim at. And just like any other thing when it comes to cutting, you want to get as straight as cut as possible. I don't like metal flying, so... I do have a tendency to keep my scraps. It is quite handy, if I do say so. Let's shape that a little bit better. There we go. This metal is a little forgiving. That loop is kind of big though, so let's trim it down a little bit. There we go. There we go. Not perfect, but it'll definitely do the job. And I prefer using these for almost all my bending. Mainly because, as you can tell, these, even though that's nice and flat, and that's nice and flat, there's still little mars on the inside of those pliers. And it will mar up your jewelry. So you don't necessarily want to use the flat pliers. Alright, that's about good. Well, a little too far. A trick with the eyelet. You see me turning the current eye on there right there? That's so I can get it matched up without bending too much of the end run. A little bit more. I don't want too much slack in that. Alright, now... It moved on me. There we go. Sometimes you gotta keep, keep a tight grip on that in order to do it. This is definitely not a thing for the arthritic. Which I am a little arthritic. Arthritic. <laughs> Good. Let's bend it out just a little bit, and I still have plenty of slack to do what I want. Put that tool out of my hand. All right, and I save these so I make little loops, which I just did a loop. I don't know where I put the dang thing though. 
<laughs> oh well. So now, let's finesse this part. Now I'm using the flats on purpose because I have to adjust my eyelets. There we go. So they're even. Looks a little more cohesive that way. Let's trim this up just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Get a nice flat edge. That hit me right in the face. Okay, now we'll put it all together. Get a little gap going. Get that. Close the gap. Pull out. Pull up. Uh, there we go. It's a little bit better. And then, as you can tell, I already left a gap on that part. So then I grab the hook. Ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. If you could see that. On the back, maybe? On the black? <laughs> Too much shadow there. A very simple pair of dingle earrings. Nice and bright and not too hard to make. And mind you, I've done dozens and dozens like this. It's pretty easy to mar the metal, so you got to be careful. But other than that, consistency isn't too hard with practice. And mind you, I'm far from being an expert. And yes, sure, there's a little play here. This is not perfect by any means. But considering what I paid for all this, you can still sell these for, you know, I recommend probably about six bucks. All right, I'm going to make the other one out of camera view. And you can just trust my word that I'm making the other one. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this particular episode of What? I know I had nothing to do with the video games, but that's all right. Why? Because I said so. That's why it's my series. I can do what I want. Ah! Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you and bye-bye.